Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another video with me, the king of the phone calls. My name is Josh, I uh, hope you're well. Still feels weird saying that name. Um, doesn't help that even though this video has probably came out about a month after me recording this, it's all been on the same day. So me trying to remember this name, it, it's mind boggling. So, today we have part three of our absolutely incredible haul that we paid £5,650 for, um, and it's a massive collection, um, for sure. Um, I'm not going to lie, I'm drained, I'm feeling it, um, but i still got a soldier on. Um, and then I've got to try and fit these somewhere. Um, so, the fun is beginning, for sure. Um, but today we actually have two packs, three packs, six inch pops, um, uh, the Pop Towns, everything like that, you'll, you'll see it all pretty much. Um, so where do we start? Let's start over here. We have, funnily enough, a Pop Town, and we have the, um, Dr. Peter Venkman with Firehouse. Um, literally, I have just sold this pop as of, like, today, a couple days ago. Um, so... I know this is quite a sort of after pop in the sense. Um, it's not one that I'm going to keep because I'm not actually collecting the Ghostbusters franchise yet. Um, I might in the future. It's just not my cup of tea right now. Uh, one thing is I'm going to try and speed up what I'm saying because the last video just dragged, which is fine. But I tell you, it's not fine when you need a drink. Um, then we have a really nice one. Um, my daughter absolutely loves Moana. One of her favourite um, films. She is only 15 months. But she will literally watch the whole film. Um, but it is Moana and Poya um, on boat. Um, now I absolutely do love this one. It is one that I'm thinking about um, keeping for my daughter. Um, purely because she is a Moana fan. Um, and I want her to know that you know there are things out there. Um, kind of for her that she will enjoy. Then we have one of my favourite ones. It's not my favourite um one of her but we have maleficent um this is the uh disney exclusive um it's in the pop protector so it's very very hard to see purely because of how dark it is but as long as i can get out the light that is roughly what she looks like inside um so a really cool pop um one that i might keep but i prefer this one um, and this is the maleficent glow in the dark version uh, special edition this is actually cheaper than that maleficent yeah i just prefer this one purely because i like the flames um etc but i'm going to try and see what the um actual uh pop looks like when it is glowing because that will depend whether i keep this pop or not then we'll go over here and we have some two packs and we have one that we already own which is pongo and per uh, perdita um, we got this in Pop in the Box subscription, and as you can see, it is a Pop in the Box um, exclusive. So, a really cool pop, but not one that we need, because we already own. But we might as well stick with that sort of franchise, and one that we definitely do own is this one. This is the Ursula with Cruella de Vil. You can't see it, but I definitely know mine is down literally one shelf below what you can see at the bottom. Um, I think it's under the... Oh, no, sorry, two shelves... You've got my uh, Queen of Hearts, and you've got a Chucky, and then you've got um, my version of this. Difference being, this one has the exclusive um, sticker, mine has the Hot Topic exclusive sticker, and I prefer the Hot Topic one. If I can keep it, then I will. Then, what shall we do next? <sighs> Let's go over here, and we will go to... Where's new baggy? We have Scooby-Doo and Haunted Mansion. Um, again, like I said, I'm not looking to keep the Scooby-Doo franchise. I absolutely do love Scooby-Doo. It was one of my favourite childhood kind of cartoons to watch. Um, and I also remember the um, Pretty Piss Poor uh, movie of Scooby-Doo 1 and Scooby-Doo 2, which was kind of like the first movies that kind of tried making animations into kind of real life. Um, but nonetheless, we have that Scooby-Doo. Then what shall we do now? <coughs> we'll go back over here and we'll go to Jack Skeleton and Jack's house from uh, The Nightmare Before Christmas. Uh, as I said in the previous video, I still haven't watched that video purely because it is only like 25 minutes after recording that video. Um, but it's definitely one of those films that I definitely need to watch. Um, what I do like about this um, pop is 
This is about one of the only color pots that I see like a background that goes really well with the actual pop. So the kind of full moon at the back and the kind of, um, you can't see it properly, but there's kind of like the branches, etc. I just think that that background looks really well with this pop. Then we will go over here and we have a six inch, this one. Um, I'm not saying the name because I can't say it, um, but it's from Stranger Things. But you're going to hear me say that a lot because we do have a lot of this um, variation of pop. So um, good luck to Josh. Um, but not one that I'm going to keep. Like I said, I haven't watched Stranger Things. I might in the future. It's just not something that kind of wows me. Um, but maybe in the future. Then we will go over here. And this is a duplicate from the first video. As I said, our oh, second video um, is the second one of our Kang and Kudos Glow in the Dark. I said to you in the previous video, we had another one. This is it. Then we are going to go down to this one. We have Home Alone. And we have the Wet Brother, uh, the Wet Bandit. Sorry, not the Wet Brothers. Um, now this is a really good one. This is one that I might keep because I absolutely love Home Alone. It's one of my favourite kind of kid movies. Um, not just that, I'm not a Christmas fan. But this is a film that I absolutely love watching um, during Christmas. So potentially I do keep this. Um, and I won't, well, kind of a spoiler, I have um, other single pops of Home Alone coming. So maybe. <laughs> um, then we will go over to this where we have Zolta. Now, this is of course from the movie Big, but I absolutely love this. Um, I've not seen the movie Big, I will state that, but I love Zolta. If you ever went to kind of a old school amusement, and I'm originally from like down south on the coasts, um, and we always used to have a Zolta, and I always used to like putting my 50p or my pound in, and it telling me my predictions. And I tell you, the thing that always annoyed me was it told me my lucky dip numbers for um for the lottery. Have I won yet? No. So tell me, Zoltar, how are you predicting anything? <coughs> then we will go with a big pop. We have the Sanderson sisters. Um, now this isn't the only Sanderson sisters. Spoiler alert, you're going to see a lot more Hocus Pocus um, coming up um, to the extent of big pops. And we also have small pops. I just noticed I've got black on my nose still. I went to work this morning and I've just not cleaned myself very well, have I? Oh, what a donkey I am. That's going to bug me now. Um, but we have Sanderson Sisters. It's in a pop protector a little bit too big. What I like is at least there is some bubble wrap. I don't really care about it's in the back, I'm not going to lie. But at least I know that the pop is protected at the back. Um, then one of my favourite um, as well animations um, has to be this and it is Rugrats and we have Tommy and Chucky. Um, now I love Tommy, Chucky, Angelica. Um, I can never remember who the two little scrawny twins are. Um, oh my god, what's their names? Um, and then of course you've got Reptile and Reptile is awesome. Come on, who doesn't love Reptile? Um, but I remember, I think it was when it was PlayStation 1. I used to be an absolute animal playing Rugrats on PlayStation 1, playing crazy golf, and I would get holes in one left, right, and centre, and I was there going, I am the champ. But I absolutely love Rugrats, so this might be one that I have to keep. Then we will go to something that I did tell you in the last video. Um, with Ursula 10 inch, we have another Little Mermaid, and it is King Triton. Um, now, as I said, I am looking to complete the Little Mermaid section. I haven't got this pop, so this is potentially one of them that I intend to keep um, for my Little Mermaid sections. Um, so I am very happy to have this potentially in my collection. Uh, and when I say potentially in my collection, it's because to start with, I always state that everything is for sale. And the reason I do that is because I need to know that I'm going to make um, some of my money back. And if that means selling one or two of those pops that I might have kept. I'd rather sell them there, try and recoup some of my money straight away so that I can rebuild the um, kind of channel um, and also get my money back as much as I can. And then when I've kind of, especially when I've made, sold or spent 5,650, once I get to like the three grand mark, that's when I'll look at it going, right, these are the pops that I'm gonna keep. This is what I can make, you know, 1,500 pound on, just so that you understand what I'm saying. 
Now we're going to go to these. It's going to be some big back-to-back -back ones. So, <coughs> the first one. So we have the Great White Shark. Um, but this is just the boring common one. So we step it up a gear. And we go bigger. And we have the Great White Shark. It is the Walmart. Is it? No, sorry. Only at Target, sorry. And it is the one that is bloody. Um, you can't really see it very well. Because uh, my piss poor lighting is absolutely crap. Um, but this is the bloody version. And then, of course, you go from this one. And you have to, of course, um, go to the next expensive one. Which is, of course, the shark eating the tank. And, of course, um, there is only one other uh, great white shark out there. And, of course, it's this one. It is the shark biting Quint. The saddest moment in any movie horror genre going is seeing Quint get snuffed up by the shark. You know, the only time you actually want a human to win in a horror movie and he snuffs it. But, again, great movie. Great um, pop. One of them that I've wanted for some time. And now I have every single um, shark. It's pretty cool. Um, I said pretty cool, but I can't actually put them anywhere. So pop them there. Um, oh, I don't want to do that one yet. That's an expensive one. You guys don't deserve the expensive one yet. One that I'm definitely keeping. We all know that we love my Toy Stories. Um, and I need the Woody RC. Um, and I finally have the Woody RC. Now, is this... Yeah, that's an expensive one too. So pop that one there. We'll do an expensive one anyway. But we have the Hot Topic exclusive Scar with Flames. This is the about £45, £50 one. This isn't the Glow in the Dark one. That's worth about £70. Pound. Um, we don't actually own that one. Um, then we got a pop that actually I do own. Um, and if you guys have watched my Mail Day Monday, you will have seen me um, buy this from a friend. Um, and I have the Demonic Pennywise and Funko uh, Funhouse. And mine is right at the bottom down here, um, along with all my other Pennywise. So um, that is definitely one that I will be selling. Then again, as I said, we have some more Sanderson Sisters. And we have the three pack uh, here. Um, and of course, there is only one other um, big kind of pop that we need for, to complete this Hocus Pocus. Um, and unfortunately, we may or may not have it. Um, but time shall tell. Now, something that I have definitely not seen is uh, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. So I have no idea who the hell this is. But apparently it's worth over £40. So um, I can't complain, I guess. Um... But if any of you have watched it, by all means, tell me what it's about. Apart from, don't tell me it's about Christmas. Um, because I can kind of tell that. <laughs> um, but it's not something that I'm going to watch. Purely because uh, I am the Grinch and I can't stand Christmas. Then we have kind of one of them that actually, I hate Chrome Pops. But I actually really like these. And it is, of course, the uh, Phineas, Zira and Gus um, Chrome uh, Ghost Haunted Mansion Pops. Um... One that I'm not going to keep, but I do really like. Um, then, what should we do next? What should we do next? What should we do? We'll go with this one. We have the Dock with Clock Tower. A really cool pop. Um, I've got a lot of Back to Future. I'm not going to lie that we are going to unbox. Um, so be patient there. But most of them are four inch pops. So you will see a hell of a lot. So enjoy that when it comes. But we have some really good Back to the Future coming. Um, but Cool Pop, not one that I'm going to be keeping. Then we have a Stranger Things 2-pack. And it is the Duffer Brothers Upside Down. If it was that way up, it would be worth a damn sight more apparently. But they're upside down, so it's worth less. Um, it is what it is. Then we have one of my favourites. is The Shining and it is the Grady Twins. This isn't... I think there's a Chase version. I, I could be a bit of a numpty here but this is the special edition one this is one that i potentially am going to be keeping again i say potentially it really does depend on everything but this is one that i definitely would like to keep 
then you can all have a laugh at me as I say this word because my lisp is going to make me look like a donkey. Um, but we have the six inch basilisk. Um, now, we own snakes. Um, so potentially we might keep this and put it on top of the snake tank um, because we think that will look absolutely pretty epic. Um, so we're not too sure on that. Um, but we have a really cool basilisk um, Harry Potter pop. Then, one that I will be keeping again, and this is a guaranteed keep, is we have uh, the Corella in a car. Um, I have a lot of Dalmatian pops. It's another one of them that I absolutely love. And I absolutely love Corella de Vil. And it also helps that the new film Corella is coming out. So this pop could actually shoot up in price quite quickly. So I will keep it as I uh, don't want to be spending an absolute chop over on it. And now we pretty much have the big the big hits so without further ado we start off with the sanderson sisters this is the most expensive one i think out of three um so we do actually have all three hocus pocus um pops again this one's in a pop protector um and you can't complain it's such a good pop then we have carl and ellie this is the movie moment it's not a movie moment. Yeah, it is a movie moment, um, which is a really nice one. But this isn't my favourite, of course. You saw it in the previous video where we actually got the up house. But this is one that I am looking to try and keep because I am trying to keep all the up pops. Which takes me on to this one. We have the Carl and Ellie, um, which is pretty sick. Um, I cannot complain um, at all. This is definitely a pop that um, I am looking to keep. And of course, of the price, I definitely want. And the final pop that we have today um, in this episode is from The Lost Boys. And it is the Edgar Frog um, and Alan Frog, the Frog Brothers. Now, I was shocked when I found out the value of this. This isn't a pop that I will be keeping, but it is a very, very highly sought after pop and a very, very expensive pop. So I am very happy to see this in um, the collection. Now that is it for now. I hope you guys did enjoy that video. If you did, let me know what your favourite pop was. Tell me what you think about six inch and kind of oversized pops again. Um, and of course, tell me what kind of pops you have in your collection. Um, of course, subscribe if you're new around here. And of course, until next time, guys, I shall see you all very soon.